the native behavior, need someone's take on this, this has been bothering me for a while. This is how our relationship evolved. We worked together in the same office building but different departments. Was called into a meeting in her department and I see this semi-overweight girl with a beautiful face. We locked eyes and couldn't stop staring at each other. For the next couple of weeks, this girl basically stalked me, following me out to my car after work, found me online, emailed me and we exchanged numbers. We begin dating. Relationship develops in a way that I lose attraction to her for some reason after three weeks of dating. Not sure why. Two weeks later I have a change of heart and we start hanging out again. In the two weeks we were apart, she had apparently gotten drunk with a friend because she was upset about me dumping her and made out with some random guy at a bar and didn't tell me about it. I get back together with her not knowing this, only finding out because I was playing with her digital camera and found pics of her having fun with this guy. I promptly dump her again. She bombards me with crying voicemails, emails, texts, fighting like an animal to get me back. I go for no contact for two weeks and stupidly give her another chance. She drops a ton of weight while dating me to impress me. Seven months later I propose to her, and I leave the company we both worked for to take a new job that will allow me to make more money. The bonding ended basically right after the honeymoon. Our physical life was incredible while we were dating. Five days a week at least and sometimes twice an afternoon on the weekends. We were married in May 2009, honeymooned in June, but didn't sleep together again until August. We bought a house, diamonds, new cars, got a dog, sort of fulfilling all her dreams in the first few months of marriage. My wife immediately then puts on all this weight and became depressed. Bonding became maybe once a month. As terrible as this sounds, we maybe had slept together 10 to 15 times as a married couple. I would try to initiate and she just didn't feel like it. She was embarrassed of her body and her antidepressants ended her desire, but I didn't buy it. She did not like to hug me or even kiss me. I once leaned in to kiss her cheek and she literally shuddered. She was on a bunch of prescription med that I don't remember. Our marriage gets worse. Constant trashing of everything I did. Not making enough money at work, etc. And had to constantly walk on eggshells, watch everything I said, and pacify her. We had a really bad massive blow-up last summer and told her I wanted out. She immediately left the house and sobbed for one week at her parents' house. She eventually ended up filing for divorce. When I left the house with my last box of items on September 1st, she started sobbing again. I started crying too, and I felt absolutely terrible. November 2012, divorce day at the courthouse. She is emotionless, cold, and has lost a lot of weight. No contact ensues. March 2013, she calls me at work and is very sweet on the phone confirming our meeting time for taxes. An hour later I meet her at the tax office and she is dressed in almost knee-high boots, jeans, nice top and makeup. It is 6 p.m. on weeknight and we both work 9 to 5 jobs. She is texting the entire time and when I ask her any questions regarding financial stuff, she is completely dismissive and looks annoyed by my presence. After our meeting, I stand with her in the parking lot and ask if we can talk for a second and get some closure on everything. I ask her how she is doing and she is giving short, abrupt answers to everything. I ask her some more questions about our marriage and she just shrug her shoulders. She then begins to tell me the following. 1. I ask her if she moved back in the area, she lived with a friend out of town for a few months. I do live in the area now but I don't need to tell you where I live. 2. This is the last time we ever have to meet, I don't need to see you anymore. I moved on. 3. I am seeing someone now I ask her if I know him. She looks at me for a long time with a blank stare and says no. Now recently, it turns out that she was screwing one of the IT directors at her job. He makes really good money, but he is grossly overweight. I'm an athletic former college football player who is still in amazing shape. We are nothing alike. It's all very confusing. She is in HR and she is in charge of recruiting for it so they have known each other for years. But I'm not sure when the relationship really began. It didn't really occur to me that she might have been cheating on me until the guy became Facebook friends with her entire family five months after our divorce was finalized and that he attended her brother's destination wedding earlier this summer. I wonder how they could have moved that fast without an affair occurring. Now the question is when. Do you think it happened very early in our marriage when my wife was thin, then got heavy because she felt guilt about cheating? Or was it when she got thin again in the final month of our separation that she got with this guy before we were officially divorced? I'm doing my best to move on, but this hurts a lot and this recent discovery is really affecting me. Comments. Dude listen to me at this point you're honestly picking the fly Sean T out of the pepper. For some reason you rushed into this marriage after she lost weight. It is obvious you have issues with someone's appearance and you're more into looks than substance. It's a sad truth. You might be equating bonding with love, but you never mentioned marriage counseling or therapy. Marriage counseling is out of the question now, but therapy isn't. Go to it and learn from this. At this point it really does not matter. Do you love her? I mean grow a pair and just say yes or no, do you love her? If not then your pride is hurt get over it. But don't be fooled because your ego will make you think you love her because of what she might have done to you and who she left you for. Just because you're in good shape don't mean crap with woman. OP responds, I tried dating a little. 
but it didn't seem right because when I did try dating, I could not stop thinking about my ex-wife and realized that I still did love her. I'm working on myself and trying to rid these feelings. This information came to my attention through a mutual friend. Sorry, I am very very depressed by this and didn't know where to go to vent my feelings. We did attend marriage counseling. I sought counseling myself this summer when I was dealing with major depression. I'm 6 feet 2, and my weight dropped to 150 pounds, and that's when I had a personal intervention. I'm a bit healthier now. I have had slept with two women since the divorce and the guilt of doing so made me drop off the dating map for a while until I was in a better place, until I heard what she did and I'm faced with an assortment of strange and hurtful feelings. As to salary, I make 70000 per year and her new guy makes six figures. We are all in our 30s, so maybe she had grasses greener syndrome. But whatever, it's over. My parents sent me an article on that after she rubbed it in my face that she was seeing someone a mere two months after we divorced. This does explain a lot based the meds she was taking. I was dating a girl for two months this summer, and I think one of the last things I would have done was rubbed in my ex-wife's face that I was sleeping with somebody. I am not that way. For the record, she gained 45 pounds in the first year of marriage. I saw the report after she came back from her physician. I think one of the toughest things that makes moving on tough is that I can't just remove my feelings for her in the span of a few months. We've known each other for five years, and I haven't even been divorced for a full year. And trust me, I do have the ability to move on, otherwise I would be still mourning the end of my recent summer relationship where I was starting to develop feelings for that woman. I don't think reconciliation is in the cards. She essentially quit on our marriage a year into it, possibly cheated on me, and moved on to her next guy in almost no time. She did not love me. I'm not trying to rewrite history here, but she hid this from me and I found out on my own three weeks after the fact. She asked me if I hooked up with anyone in the time we were apart and I asked her the same. So, she lied. I busted her on it, and she cried for me to take her back. She is getting heavy again. I saw her recently tagged in a photo of her with a mutual friend. Her weight gain never bothered me, it was her treatment and neglect that hurt me. I'm bent out of shape about the implied cheating, it stings. She was 25 when we met, and for some reason she thought she'd never get married. When I came into her life, I was her absolute best option. She did not know my salary and was attracted to me based on looks alone and how I handled myself in a meeting at our job. I remember going on a trip to Paradise Island, Bahamas and her staring at my body and saying wow, you're ripped. But I do remember her being a bit disappointed when she found out I was making 55 at the time and she once told me to go talk to my new employer about a salary increase. I was a little peeved about this but let it slide because we were fine financially. As the relationship moved forward, she just started to shut down. I think a lot of her co-workers had husbands who made 85 to 95 and I looked like a chump compared to them in the earnings department. Keep in mind, these guys were much older than me and had kids with their wives, but it made her look like she settled. She was getting this heat at work, and there seemed to be no way I could win. Note, her co-workers never liked her, excluded her from lunch, girls night out, etc. Why didn't we have kids? Well, she was treating me like garbage and we weren't sleeping together at all. She begged for kids, and I put my foot down and told her that we needed to be in better place in our relationship for this to be an option. Keep in my mind that I wanted bonding at least four times week, so it's not like I didn't find her attractive and I most certainly wanted children with her. So, I was getting devalued. And what has happened here is that I am the victim of a hypergamy. My ex-wife saw this guy, who lived with his mom, and I'm very sorry to be shallow, not good looking at all and obese, making 100,000 and decided that his situation was better for whatever reason. More money means bigger status, which I apparently didn't have. It makes me sick to my stomach. Why is all of this happening? The irony of all this is that I'm on the verge of making a lot more money because I recently got promoted, 15,000 increase, and now have the ability to branch swing to a better job because I'm now qualified to apply for them. So, my earning potential would have increased if we were still married, but she was either impatient or didn't realize my potential. So, I'm trying to move on, hitting the weights hard, running up to 30 miles a week, down from the 50 to 70 miles a week I used to run while married. Applying for new jobs, trying to date, very hard at age 34, everyone is married or has boyfriends, and traveling a ton, volunteering. But like others have said, it is hard. I really hope time is on my side here. It just seems like she had no trouble throwing me in the garbage and moving on with her life. I doubt she ever thinks about me. It's downright disturbing. I think one line that will always resonate with me was something she said in counseling along the lines of if you would gain a little more weight, I'd be more inclined to sleep with you. Granted at six feet, I'm not huge but I'm not sickly either. I was just in really good shape, like a soccer player. I never really thought about her sabotaging our relationship because of this. But wow, it does make sense, said. Now she's got the perfect man for her. It makes me sick to read this because I did everything I could possibly do to make her love me.
Worked my ass off at my job. Her parents loved me. Her brother loved me. I always dressed nice and kept myself in shape, praised her, rubbing her feet and massaging her back after work, and I did a good majority of the housework. Heck, even our yard was one of the best in the burbs. But you are right, I was not the guy for her. I can't control who I fall in love with, and I can't control who she decided to fall out of love and in love with. I never thought I was the one who had issues in our relationship. I never took meds, never went to counseling, etc. I was really a happy guy up until the first year of marriage when it all went haywire. But the more I've read up on BPD, the more I realize she had to have it. I have never seen such odd behavior out of any of the women I've dated, and I've been in few LTR enough to know that she is completely unique. I think the hardest thing about letting go was that this was my wife, and I took my vows very seriously. This wasn't some girlfriend, as I was able to get over those relationships quickly, but wow, she got over me fast. She has seduced her new guy, his family, his friends all in a matter of months. I cannot fathom someone moving that quickly after a divorce. I am absolutely shell-shocked by this. I almost don't believe this is reality. I can only see this ending really badly. This guy has no clue of the hell that awaits. I'm at the point where having kids is just not a realistic possibility. I have no idea when I'll meet my next GF, and I think it's a poor decision to seek out a someone out of desperation, which my wife has done. If she did not cheat on me, and legitimately found the first single available guy in the office to hook up with and attempt to start a family with, I was hoping that in our second year of marriage that we would have been at a point where kids were a real possibility, but her treatment of me just gave me no confidence in us being a functional family unit. She was pressuring me for kids regardless, but didn't want bonding, and I would often state in counseling that we couldn't get from a to be without making that move to become more intimate. It's like she never got it. She was willing to put aside her true feelings for me just to get a child, and so I put my foot down, which made her withdraw even further because she felt like I wasn't invested in our relationship or future. So, I'm still broken up about all of this. You can stand in front of 450 people in a church, and three years down the road you are screwing your co-worker. I have not spoken to her in 60 plus days. I had to correspond with her about some financial documents and she was incredibly condescending and rude in her last email. You could read between in the lines and see the hate. I thought she'd be over things by now with her new boyfriend and not resort to anger whenever she had to deal with me. As a therapist, what do you think she has? Is this BPD? Since she was my wife, I do have vested interest in her. I cannot deny that otherwise I wouldn't be here, so what I want to know of her patterns will be repeated with OM. Well, after dating several women in my mid-twenties, I found that a lot of them seemed unmotivated and aimless. This was a woman who was in the working world making 32000 a year as a staffing specialist, and she really seemed to have her stuff together. I liked that. I was attracted to her, and we kissed for a while on the first date. She was very, very attentive to me. Not bothersome, but seemed to care what I was doing every day. I never had a woman care about me like that, and I couldn't figure out why. I think part of it might because I might have been a challenge to her. I wouldn't call her back sometimes, or respond to texts, or seem that interested in her. She was not used to this and it made her crazy. So, I sort of indirectly gamed her. She is very sweet, articulate, always inviting me over to make me dinner. I met her parents, both of them middle class like my family. Very similar upbringing. We are both from northern coastal towns. I started to fall in love with her. We began spending every minute together. She was like this meds. Mind-blowing bonding. She started going on this crazy workout plan to get in shape and really impress me. She was this unstoppable force. I didn't really know what I had until we were walking in a grocery store one afternoon and every guy was just staring at her. We were the absolute perfect match in the beginning. People at her job who knew me and her separately would always say things like you couldn't draw up a better match than those two. Intelligence levels are similar, looks are compatible even, we seem to really understand each other unlike anyone else. I felt she was the one. Eight months of dating, and I propose. After the honeymoon, she is a completely different person. What happened to the woman I dated? It tears me up to think about our past. Sometimes, I feel like it was all some bizarre dream and that she never existed. But she's out there, working, eating, sleeping, living. She is 10 miles away from me and I was married to this individual, and we don't even talk. She is fully entrenched into her new guy's life. It is just. I can't even begin to explain how bizarre this all was. So last night I took the steps of deleting our old photos off Facebook, blocking her family, blocking her friends, blocking her new guy, blocking her co-workers. Any constant reminders of her. I even updated my profile to be very private. I hid my position, employer and all of my photos. Care to guess to who started visiting my website at 9pm last night. I have far more in my life than she could dream of doing. I can't think of one thing she has done in her life that has been really that impressive. Maybe flunking out of college for partying too much. I guess maybe sleeping with two guys from the same company. You don't know how hard it was to delete those photos off my hard drive and off Facebook. But it's just necessary to move on and let go. The next step will be getting rid of my wedding ring and wedding photo book. I'm not there yet. 
As soon as delete my stuff, block her, and feel terrible about it, she stalks my site. What kind of cruel joke is this? I don't need these reminders. Why the hell does she care about what I'm doing? She's the one who destroyed my soul in her words, doesn't want anything to do with me. She threw me away. I hate her. I hate what she's done to me. I hate how she treated my family. I hate how I loved her so much and she brought nothing but pain in return because she is miserable inside. I didn't ask for this pain. The pain is still here. That's why I care. I've been applying for jobs to move out of town. I'm an art director. Once I apply for a job, I will check to see who is actually checking out my work and the IP addresses of companies and agencies who visit my site get tracked in an administrative interface. I apply for roughly 5 to 6 jobs per week, so I check this log often for my own interest. It didn't have anything to do with her. It's funny how things work. I met a stunning woman tonight and got her number. She's 3 years older than me. She's a manager at a company, a career woman and whip smart. Nuts, I'm already forgetting all about the ex-wife. Quick update. So, my new girl seems to be utterly infatuated with me. We were supposed to hang out on Monday night, but she texted me last night and wanted to know what I was up to. She couldn't wait. I met her at 9.30pm for a glass of wine on a fancy outdoor patio. Mid-conversation we kissed each other. By 11.30pm, she doesn't want the night to be over, so we go to an all-night brew pub and get a few pricey beers. We close the night making out next to her car. I walked away completely mesmerized by what was a happening. We have plans for next weekend as well. Meanwhile, earlier that day, I met up with some friends for Frisbee. A particular couple, who work with my ex-wife, said that they saw my ex-wife and her new co-worker boyfriend, possible affair partner at an outdoor music festival a few months back. This couple went on to tell me that my ex-wife wouldn't even acknowledge them, she's known them for six years, and looked embarrassed. My ex-wife is such a bee. I have dated two women since my eye split from my wife. Most would consider them better looking than my her. She knows what the first one looks like since my Facebook page was public and I was tagged in a bunch of photos with her. The most recent girl, who I have spent time with for the past two weeks, she has no idea about. I left my marriage on rather good terms. Our last day together consisted of us hugging and crying as I left my house for the last time. She became a completely different person after that. Mean, cold, vengeful, etc. But I never begged for her to come back. I asked to leave our marriage. She just has no idea of the pain I went through after it was over. I still care about her, even though I shouldn't, but I don't want her back in my life. She has hurt me way too much to even consider a reconciliation. It's her behavior post-divorce, rumors of infidelity, hateful emails, cold, cruel conversations, that have ruined everything. I will also add that I saw my ex-wife this past Wednesday for the first time in six months. I looked good, dressing sharp by chance. I did not find her attractive at all. Two days after I saw her, and she did see me, she went and stalked my business page. A year later. So, I have noticed a few weird things regarding my ex-wife. We are not Facebook friends anymore, we didn't have kids, and we are both in new relationships. She got with a co-worker sometime during our marriage or separation, and I found someone a lot better than my ex-wife in every way. I've also moved to a new town and I'll probably never see her again. We've both moved on. Or so it seems. One night, I was feeling sort of curious and decided to check on her Facebook page. Her page is private, but she made a few of my I love you posts to her public from many years ago. I found this odd, considering that she's now engaged to the guy she essentially left me for. Then, about a month later I checked again to see if they were still there and they weren't. Some other weird things. 1. Biam and I have some mutual friends. He will sometimes post things on the same thread right after my posts in order to engage me in some way. I find that pretty bold. I never respond. 2. I have a website with analytics and my ex-wife will sometimes visit my site. I know this because I was getting a lot of activity from a particular IP, so when I traced it, it connected to the apartment complex she moved to. 3. People who know both my ex and I have come up to me and have told me that she is a B. I don't even bring her up. I just changed the subject. 4. She has gained roughly 40 pounds since the beginning of the year. I saw a recent photo of her appear in my feed and was shocked at her physical transformation. I quickly blocked the feed of the guy who posted the pic in order to not see her show up again. To be honest, I've been really good about moving on and dealing with the pain, but once in a while I can't help but notice these things. It sorts of delays healing. It also sends mixed messages about how my ex-wife feels about me. She was pretty hateful around the time we divorced and told me she never wants to talk to me again. I'm glad I've found someone new and I'm very happy, so when I see these things it's conflicting, strange, and doesn't make much sense at all. Can anyone make any sense as to what is going on here? I don't talk with her. I haven't said a thing to her in a year and a half. I've moved to a different town, been in a relationship with my current girlfriend for one year. Dude, I'm over it. Yes, it was a mistake to check her page. I told myself I wouldn't do that again. My comment, it happens sometimes you think about your old partner, just let it disappear naturally. It will happen sooner or later. Story 2. 
My wife and I have been together for four years and married for two. We have a beautiful baby girl who is 20 months old. About six months ago, my wife told me that she feels that she has fell out of love with me. She says that I don't act the same way that I did in the beginning of our relationship, that I work a lot and don't spend so much time with her as we used to. She also says that sometimes she cringes when we kiss. I'm not a bad husband. I don't drink, don't go out late with friends or sleep around. I don't yell. I try to take care of everything so that she and the baby are comfortable. I have been working hard to provide and majority of my time is working and trying to help her take care of the house. She was 19 when we met and I was 24. I work two jobs to cover expenses and on my days off I try to spend time with her and the baby. She is a stay-at-home mom and has been doing less and less housework and letting everything go. She says that I'm the one who doesn't love her. I can't believe it I'm so head over heels for her. I do agree with her that I haven't shown her how much I love her recently. I used to hold her every night and now because I work two jobs. I'm so tired at night with my back hurting that I just sleep on my back. She has gained about 70 pounds from her pregnancy that she has been having a hard time losing. I loved her so much that the extra weight is not bothering me. I love her no matter what and I have been encouraging her to lose weight and even been dieting with her and I actually got into so much better shape that she has been feeling so self-conscious that she refuses to get undressed in front of me anymore. She feels as though she has not accomplished anything in life, she and that I baby her a lot of times. In the early days of our relationship, she kissed another man, but she regretted it and apologized for it. I don't even bring it up, but sometimes she says that she doesn't deserve a nice guy like me. Recently she acted more and more depressed, she says she doesn't feel like a partner but just someone living in the house and taking care of a baby. I do agree with her that I try to do all the errands and even most chores, but I do them so that she doesn't have to and to make things easier for her. It's so strange one day she would tell me how much she loves me and be all happy and cheerful and how she has these great ideas for our next anniversary and our next vacation and then in a week she could be telling me how much she doesn't love me anymore, it's like a cycle. I don't know what to do. Three days ago, she packed a suitcase and went to her parents' house. She says she wants some time apart to see if she will miss me. She tells me that we should take a month apart or even longer and see if we want to get back together. I have been so depressed and don't even know what to do. I tried talking to her about us and telling her that I will try to fix any issues that we had and make her feel more equal in this relationship but she says she just wants time apart to think if she wants to come back. She did this once before but came back after a week. I just don't think it will be so simple this time. Does anyone have any advice? I was hoping that she would at least stay in the house and that I could move on the couch but at least we can talk things out but she just doesn't want to talk at all. I've been working hard because we both started off very well off. I had a great job and only worked 4 days a week, 8 hours a day and we had so much extra money for us that we used to go out every night and enjoy our time together. However, we had some unexpected costs come up. My mom getting sick and passing away really took a financial toll on things. So, I have been trying to work to keep us out of debt. I do understand that I have been lacking with emotional support. Before I used to come home from work and just sit down and spend time together, we would watch a movie on the couch together while cuddled up under a blanket. And recently I work long hours so now I barely have time to spend together. She knows I work hard and really understands but even so, I should always still take that 15 minutes or so after work and just make it about her. We still have date night on a regular basis, at least once a week usually. We go see a movie and have dinner and talk. Because she has been so depressed and kept asking me to take some time away from me and the baby for herself and I never understood the reason, but I have been thinking about things and I really do now. It's so important to have time for yourself on a regular basis because if you don't how can you improve yourself and not sink further into depression? She says she wants to take three weeks and see if she misses me and if she doesn't then take more time. The only thing that scares me is her parents are helping her with the baby and giving her so much time to herself that I think she will feel that she is so much happier there that she would not want to work things out. But I don't feel that is the answer, because you can't rely on other all the time and I she feels that it's easier there then she will get used to it and won't try to improve herself and our relationship. I tried talking to her today but she ended it with an argument that she wants no contact unless it's about our daughter. She said that me trying to talk things over are pushing her farther away. I agreed that I will give her space and let her work it out. I just feel like such a sh muck for even trying today and feel like I've pushed her away even more. I think this has been a partial problem the guys at my job are all getting into shape and I have started to go to the gym and doing crossfit and have lost about 60 pounds in 4 months and have gotten into an amazing physical shape. My wife on the other hand has gained about 60 pounds from the pregnancy and has been having a very hard time losing it. A lot of times she gets so jealous when other women look at me and she has even accused me of having an affair, which I could never do. The vows of marriage are very important to me and I could never cheat on my wife. Part of the issue sometimes she believes that I don't find her attractive because I don't compliment her as much as I used to. I agree that I am wrong in this regard. I give her compliments all the time but she tells me that I just say it because I am supposed to. But that's not the case she is still beautiful and I still find her attractive. 
As far as doing chores around the house, I think this is where I was wrong. I was so used to being independent before we got married that I would cook, clean, do laundry, dishes and pretty much everything else for myself. And in the early days of our relationship, I did all these things. She says that me doing these things made her feel useless. For example, she would have trouble making an omelet while I could serve up a five-course dinner in two hours. I have tried to keep the house well maintained and in general I have been doing all the fixing and cleaning usually because I want things to be easier for her and my daughter. Her dad loves me, and he is trying to get things back to normal with us, however her mom is just telling her that she can stay for as long as she likes and that she will make a new room for her instead of the guest room. I will give her a week and then try to take her out on a date and talk things over and see how she feels and how I feel and how we can work on things to try to get back what we have together. She has brought up to me that she has not accomplished much independence and if something ever happened to me, she won't be able to survive on her own. Perhaps if she does find a job, I can really cut down my hours. I'm giving her a whole week with no contact unless it's about our daughter, and we'll see what happens and how she feels. It's just been so hard lately the house so empty without them. Even though I work so much, I have spent a lot of time with my daughter in the mornings, feeding her oatmeal, changing her and if I had enough time bathing her. My mornings haven't been the same ever since she left, I just feel like I'm going through day-to-day -day motions now. I have tried to show her and she tries to pay attention. I think she's gotten better with some things but I think this whole thing with staying at home with the baby is making her more and more depressed, so she has even given up on trying to learn. The big issue is that they were close until we met, and she started to spend more and more of her time with me. I have always been civil and even helpful with my mother-in-law. Her mom used to argue that my wife spends so much time with me that they no longer have time together. Nowadays they see each other once or twice a week which I think isn't so bad. I have noticed that her mother does point out the negative things that I might do a lot and I never understood why she would want to hurt us. She has to let her daughter move along with life and not cuddle her. The gym, I only go three times a week for an hour and I go early in the morning while the wife and baby are still asleep after I come home. I give the baby her bottle of milk and change her and then get her oatmeal ready and even make my wife eggs or a healthy omelet for breakfast so when she wakes up it's will be ready for her. She did go to the gym for about two months. I got her membership and she would have someone babysit for an hour while she would go several times a week. I think because of her depression she sorts of gave up on it. That is actually the reason I started to lose weight also, because I thought it would motivate her. I just don't know that there is someone else. I mean she stays at her parents' house and her dad and brother are very close to me and they are like my eyes and ears. They are trying so hard to get us back to normal. She does see that she still cares about us. When I talked to her yesterday morning, I explained to her how I was wrong with so many things and she seemed to get so emotional but kept her calm. As far as working, I do work hard but I do still have days off, and on those days off I spend the entire day with my wife and daughter, either going to the park or just going places together. Those days are also usually our date nights when we drop the baby of at the in-laws and go out to dinner and a movie or grab a drink together. So, an update to this strangeness, my wife told me today that she wants to come back but wants an in-house separation for now. She said she still wants to take a break from us because she feels we rushed into this relationship so fast and we have a baby and she feel trapped and feels like she never accomplished anything. She wants to be single for a while and maybe go on dates in the future with others and then try to work things out between us. This is just a quick bit of summary and she says she wants me to go out also and see if maybe I'll find someone that's better for me. This has to be the weirdest thing I've ever heard or experienced. I'm still shocked. She says that she wants no relationships at all right now and just wants to be single and go out with her friends and hit on guys and just plain enjoy her life for a few months and then try to work at it with us. This sounds ridiculous to me I feel like I'm just some backup guy that she wants to hold on to in the meantime. I really don't know what to do in this case. It's great to have my daughter back in the house but her going out on dates, not now but eventually. So, another update to this crazy thing. I've been trying to follow the 180 routine and play it cool. Last night we had a long talk and it was so strange. She told me that I've been too controlling and negative recently and would not take her opinions on things. Her biggest hate point for me was when she tried to get a cat a few months ago I told her no because I don't like cats. She was so sad for a while and cried about it for days. As far as controlling, I suppose in a way me trying to do things for her to make life easier, and her mind was seen as me taking control of everything. I told her that I can definitely work on all the wrongs that I have done to change myself into a better man. She says she feels that it might be too late. She says that if down the line me and her work things out and stay together it would make her extremely happy, but as for now she feels no love for me in that way. She has been going or with her girlfriends and said that it feels so nice when guys hit on her, it makes her feel wanted. We also have a friend who recently has been getting more and more friendly with her. He keeps calling her and texting her just to talk things out, but he also asked her out for next week and she said yes because... As far as getting a job she is trying to look for one. My comments, the real reason she doesn't love him because she wants more. No matter how much better he becomes, she would always want more. And she knows this deep down. 
You agree. Comment down and we will have more love lessons coming soon.